whether they're playing it the right way, you know, I think it's the big question for us, you know, because for us it's just more than an instrument, more than just um, music. And um, it's because, it's, like I said, it's the philosophy of playing. Um, and I think for, for us, you know, it's really, um, it's more of a lifestyle. It's, you know, it's, it's a way of life. It's really being ingrained in how we kind of do everything. And so it's not just, you know, coming once a week and playing on a, a barrel drum, but it's, it's really gone beyond that. And so, um, you know, it, we've always asked the question, well, what is a taiko player? At least I always like to ask this question, you know. Is a, a taiko player just because you're sitting there and you have a hachimaki on a happy coat and you're playing with bachini? Is that a taiko player? Or um, is a taiko player someone that's playing in an orchestra and they happen to have a taiko there? Is that a taiko player? Uh, if it's in a jazz set, is that a taiko player? Um, um, if you're in the middle of the Midwest playing taiko, is that a taiko player? Or if you're here in San Jose, are you a taiko player? Um, I think it really does come down to the spirit and the philosophy again and understanding where all that comes from versus, you know, not just playing in what you, just a big drum. And so, um, and that, I think that's the, the challenge for Taiko in the future is being able to retain that spirit.